How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2, and welcome back to the channel. It is about that time of year when I have been doing nothing but thinking about this game and Software Inc., which means, yes, Software Inc. is very much on its way. But I wanted to do things a little bit differently with this run of Transport Fever 2. We're still running most of the mods that I'm always running, so we have expanded industries and towns will do town things, which is great. It adds a little bit more challenge and a bit more variety. But as I'm sure you've noticed, we're playing on a dry map, which means that we have canyons, which are going to be an interesting thing to deal with. And I'm also using North American town names and North American vehicles. Now, with that all out of the way, I have a bit of an idea for how I want to get started. First up, we have Salem. Now, Salem currently has demand. By the way, if you don't know Transport Fever 2, stick with me. I will try my best to explain how everything works. So this is the town of Salem. It wants tools and it wants construction materials. We need to make both of those things to get Salem to grow. Now, thankfully, Salem is positioned in a really nice place to make this happen, at least for the construction materials. We have a construction materials plant right here, right next to the town, so we can get those in there, no problem at all. And then down here, we have three quarries. We have this one, which is gonna be our closest bet. We can go ahead and set up a little transport route, taking the stone from the quarry, to the construction materials plant, and then we can deliver it to Salem. But not only that, we have Oklahoma City over here. And Oklahoma City also wants construction materials. So we can provide those materials to both of the towns from this one plant right here. And we can make sure that the plant has enough stone to perfectly supply both of those towns, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Now, when it comes to Salem, they also want tools which is fine. We have got a tools factory right here, but this tools factory wants steel. And to make steel, if I remember right, we are going to need, well, we're going to need some of this, which is iron ore. We're going to need some of this, which is coal. And we're going to need to take that to somewhere like a steel mill and then bring that steel down to here to make tools, which is something we could probably reasonably do. We have got a little steel mill down here as well, which is not so bad. I don't see any quarries down this way, though. So, well, I don't see any mines down this way. So that might be slightly tricky, but we'll deal with that later on. My priority right now is going to be the bricks, but that's not the only thing I want to do, because if we move up the map a little bit, we have Kansas City, which wants fuel and it wants food. Now, the fuel thing is going to have to wait. The food thing, on the other hand, we are in a really good spot for this. We have a farm right here, which is going to produce grain. We can take that grain down to this alcohol distillery. We can take that alcohol across the water into this food processing plant. And for every one unit of alcohol, we get two units of food that we can take back into Kansas City and deliver as a product. But that's not all. We've got a fishery right over here. We can take that fish, we can bring it in here, we can turn two fish into one meat, we can bring it down here, one meat into two foods, so we can produce a lot of food out of this plant. So basically, I'm going to have a couple of little lines set up around here. In fact, we could take food down to Garland as well, so we have a lot of options for how we can get started, but I'm going to start primarily down this way at Salem. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, we're starting in the year 1900 rather than 1850 because we're skipping the horse phase of the game. It's a little bit slow. It's not the worst, but I've done it so many times that I'm just not really, I'm, I'm not really interested in doing it again. I'm not going to lie. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to set up our first production line and it's going to be something very, very simple. So we'll go in here. We're going to get ourselves a truck station. It is going to have just a single platform. It is not going to have tram tracks. It is going to be 10 meters long because we'll keep it relatively simple. And what I can do, if I can remember how to control this game, I absolutely do not remember how to <laughs> I've completely forgotten how to rotate anything. I feel I feel like we have this conversation at least once a year. It's N and M to to, uh, to rotate things. Norman and, and Mary, and you can hold shift to slow it down a little bit. Uh, so what I'm going to do is try and place this station as far away from this quarry as I can. And you can tell it's going to work if the quarry highlights. So here's no good, but just here is perfect. So $60,000 for that stop right there is fine. We are going to do another stop over here by this quarry. And this road is not going anywhere that's particularly vital. So I'm going to try and put this stop a little bit further up here. Now, this one's probably going to want a couple of platforms. So we'll do two of them to start with. And we'll go ahead and just put this thing. I, I kind of want to go for here, I think. Uh, so we'll go right about there for that one. And that'll be okay. So that's going to be stone from here. 
turning into construction materials here and then getting dropped off in Salem. We can see that all these buildings out this way need the construction materials. We'll use a very simple truck unload stop and we are just going to put it, I'm going to say right about here. Should be perfectly fine. And now here's the interesting thing that I'm realizing. We might not actually need multiple lines to do this because we're going to have trucks coming from down here through Salem to here and then back through Salem. So the same trucks that bring the stone to the construction materials plant could then bring the construction materials back into Salem depending on the ratio. And it is a one to one. So for every one stone, we get one brick. Therefore, that's exactly what we can do. The only potential issue there is that Salem eventually will uh, have reduced uh, air quality. The emissions will be pretty bad with all the vehicles going through. But I think for the time being, we can we can maybe tolerate that. I think for the time being, we'll be OK. So let's go in here. Let's set up a new line. It's going to go from here. It's going to go to here. It's going to go into Salem right about there. And I don't remember how I abbreviate these things. I think RC was road cargo or something like that, I guess. And we'll just call it uh, Salem uh, bricks for the time being. And I don't know what color I want to go for. Oh, we can do custom colors now, apparently. Wait, can I do? OK, interesting. Uh, we'll just go for we'll go for red to start with. We'll just keep things nice and simple. And I think what I want to do is say down here at Salem South, I want this to go for a full load. I want it to wait for a maximum of about a minute. It shouldn't need to wait all that long. This will start producing pretty quickly. Salem East is the brick pickup. So we're going to do the same thing. Full load any. We're going to say wait for about a minute. And then Mill Street is the drop off. So we don't need to worry too much about that. And I think what we can also do is go to Salem East and actually say use both platforms. I completely forgot that this was a thing, but you can say that if one platform's full, go to the other one and pick up the same thing. So we could have the trucks dropping off and picking up quite regularly here, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's going to be our line. That's road car cargo. It's Salem bricks. The only thing we need now is a vehicle for it. So we'll go in, we'll get ourselves a road depot. And do I want to put this in the heart of Salem? Honestly, I kind of do. I, I kind of like this little spot up here. So we'll rotate it around a little bit and we're just going to say it can live probably right about here is a, a solid little spot for it. We'll move it a little bit closer to the road, a little bit further back. Maybe we'll go for something, uh, something right about there. It should be fine. Is that uphill? It is. OK, well, lovely. What vehicles do we start with here? So we want a cargo thing. We've got the steam tarpaulin truck, which is absolutely fantastic. We have the flatbed truck. And is there a difference in these guys? They're both the same speed. Uh, the cargo capacity is six and six. So really, the flatbed truck is no better than the tarpaulin one. But I guess we'll see the cargo. So I'll tell you what, let me get how much money have we got? 9.7 million. Yeah, we're fine. Let me get five of these guys. Let me paint them bright red so they match the line. And let me put them on the Salem brick line. And they should be heading out to do their thing which is absolutely fantastic. We should see, hopefully, some stone getting produced down here. We'll go ahead and speed the game up a little bit. And uh, I'm also going to right click or not right click. I'm just going to click on the time down here and I'm going to slow it down to. I'm going to say half speed for now. I don't want time to pass too quickly, but I don't want it to be quarter speed either. So now we've got some bricks or stone going out, which is absolutely fantastic. This will probably fill up quite quickly. So I think we will go ahead and just expand this ever so slightly. And we could also I could do a large cargo building on here if I really wanted to, which is more storage, but I don't think we need it. I think with five vehicles, we'll be perfectly fine. Anyway, we'll go ahead and let this run. I want to go back, uh, back up to Kansas City and I want to see about getting some food lines going because this is going to be so much more expensive than what I've just done down in Salem because we need to build we need to build a bridge basically, and it's going to have to go over this canyon, but I am really excited to do this because I think it's going to be so cool. So let's set up some of our buildings first. We're going to need a truck station. We'll go for something a little bit longer and it is going to be a little bit of a nightmare depending on how this works. Uh, I really don't want to spend too much money on terraforming here, but I might have to. I think that's probably a decent enough spot. So we'll go for we'll go for here. We'll just do the one platform for the time being. And it can live, I'm going to say right about there. So that's going to pick up the grain and that's fine. We are doing, is it one to one? It is two to one. Okay. So down here, we are going to want to have two platforms because we're going to have two separate lines handling all of the, the booze 
Uh, this is going to need to be a little bit closer than I'm going right there. So right about there. That's so expensive, though. 150000 for that thing. What if I put it on the other side? 142. Uh, not much better, but 142 is better, better than 150. So we'll go for that. So we're going to have grain coming down here, turning into alcohol. And those trucks are unfortunately going to have to run empty the way back. It's just it's a two to one ratio. We can't. That's not a lot I can do there. But anyway, so that alcohol then needs to get across the water and across the canyon. And I think what I'll do is just put myself a depot right across here. 130,000, 200, oh, 130 is what I'd like to go for there. 131,000 is much better than 200. And then this is where I'm thinking the bridge is going to be. We already have a road coming down here. So we might as well cut across with a pretty decent looking bridge. It means we can connect up to this as well, which is a must have. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let me get a... Let me get a small country road to start with. We're going to go to here. And we're just going to come down as best we can. Something like this. We are going to cut sort of around something like, like this. And I do want to connect in here kind of nicely. So we'll bring this guy out. And can I just get these guys to connect together? I absolutely can. So that's going to connect those roads together. The only thing I need to do is figure out how much a bridge is going to cost here. That is... <laughs> 39 million dollars <laughs> oh i didn't think about that oh man okay <laughs> i somehow don't think so um wow okay well if it's not obvious that i didn't think this through uh <laughs> it should be oh it definitely should be i mean here's the thing we can come downhill and kind of cross here and then go back uphill which, I mean, <laughs> so uh, it's not efficient at all. That's, that's not, <laughs> that's not a good way to do things. 45 million. Oh, I don't know why I thought it would be cheap. I mean, I didn't think it would be cheap, but I didn't think it would be that much. 44 million dollars. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I didn't. Oh, man. Okay. How much would a bridge here cost? Okay, 164,000. That's so much better. <laughs> so much better. How do I raise a road up? Because we need boats to be able to get underneath this thing. Um, oh, man. That is rough. That is, that is, how high does this have to be for boats to get underneath it? Pretty high. Interesting. I don't necessarily want to be spending millions on this thing, but I might have to. That's, that's a little unfortunate, really. Um, hmm. I'm not going to be using boats in this river. I don't know why I care, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, we'll just do this. Well, I'll raise it up a little bit so it looks slightly better, but we'll go for something like this. That'll be fine. It's a pretty ugly looking bridge, to be quite honest, but I think that's that's going to be my only choice. I want to make this Kansas City thing happen. So despite the fact that this is going to be such a long route, I, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Let's bring this back a little bit so I can save a little bit of money. I don't think there's another type of bridge I can go for here. So 205,000 for that road is perfectly fine. We'll swap it out for this guy and we'll switch to a curved road so I can maybe make this look tolerable, I guess. So bring it up like this. I want to bring that down to ground level, which uh, I don't know if that is ground level. Is that ground level? Am I at ground level? I'm below ground level. That's ground level. Okay. Give me a nice straight section road here and give me a nice curve up to that bridge there. 87,000. Honestly, I'll allow it. And I guess we just connect up beside the alcohol distillery. So we'll just go for a nice sort of, we'll go for a bit of a curved road. We'll make it kind of interesting to drive on. It's not going to be the most efficient road in the world, but again, I'll allow it. 54,000 for that one. That looks fine. So that goes down. This guy can connect over here as well. Which, I mean, it doesn't really matter where it connects. We'll just go for here for the time being. And then this just needs to go and connect to this road and we'll be good. This is such a ridiculous workaround. I, I should probably use trains for this, to be quite honest. I think trains would make so much more sense, but they're so much more expensive. I don't know if I can justify it. Okay, so this might have been the dumbest investment at this stage of the game that anyone has ever done. But I'm committing to this idea because I just... <laughs> I just am. I just, I'm just committing to it at this point. It's stupid, but I'm, I'm going to do it. So 
we're going to need to get ourselves another building. We're going to need another road depot. And I'm going to put it over here right in the middle of Kansas City. So rotate this guy around. Can I put it on that intersection? I absolutely can, which is an interesting choice of location for it. But it's where I'm going to put it because uh, it's well, that's where I'm going to put it, basically. Uh, so 11,000 for that guy right there. And what we're going to do is set up some lines. So we want to say from here to there is going to be one line. I'm going to make it uh, yellow and it's going to be road cargo. It is going to be uh, grain to alcohol. And I guess we should probably just call it uh, Kansas. We'll do it. We'll do it like that, right? I guess. So road cargo in Kansas, it's grain to alcohol. It's relatively straightforward. We can also say that I want these guys to kind of wait for up to a minute for a full load of grain. That really shouldn't be a problem. They will do it anyway. This thing will produce enough that we'll be all right. But then what we want to do is another new line from here to there, which is going to be taking the... Oh, what way do I want to do this, actually? I guess this same line could potentially bring the food back. So we're going to say alcohol to food and then food to Kansas. So we might want to go in here actually and say uh, drop off the food sort of right here in the middle. And what I might want to do is very early on just upgrade this straight. It's 700,000. So expensive. Never mind. Never mind. We're going to not do that. We're going to we're going to not do that. That's that's not a thing that we're going to be doing there uh, <laughs> at all. We'll just go ahead and drop off the uh, drop off the food right there. What do you mean could not connect all stations? Why is that? A, did I use the wrong thing? What did I do? Why is the no? What did I do? What's 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 the alert here? What's what are you complaining about? Could not connect all stations. How could you not connect all stations? It looks like the line's running fine. Oh, it isn't. Wait, why isn't it running fine though? So it can get out there, but it can't get back somehow. That's very odd actually um so from the annex to kansas city east to lake street so you can get there no problem but for some reason you just can't get into kansas city itself oh that's really weird i've added a waypoint here just as a an extra marker and it's now just working fine so i guess the pathfinding just didn't know what to do there which again really weird but fair enough uh we'll call this road cargo we'll call it kansas and we'll say this one is alco alcohol to food to, we'll just say delivery for this one. So that's sort of the process that we're going through there. We'll make that one yellow as well. And I guess Kansas lines are going to just be yellow, which is totally fine. And then realistically, what we could do here is we could say that we go ahead and have this fishery connect down to this, uh, what is it, meat processing plant, and then deliver more food here. Not that we're necessarily going to need to do that, though, because for every one, every two grain is one alcohol. Every one alcohol is, yo, every one alcohol is two food. We are going to need to, well, actually, no, that'll be okay because we're taking the food to Garland as well. So we might, we might be able to make this work. Okay, so let's set up something relatively basic here for the time being. We'll buy ourselves some vehicles. We are going to be using, I guess we can use the flatbed trucks. We'll go ahead and get... I'm going to say five of those for the time being. We're going to paint them bright yellow and they are going to be on the grain to alcohol line. And then I guess we'll go buy a few more of them and we'll do something similar. We'll buy five of them for now, I guess. I guess we'll buy five of them. Might be a bit of a risk, but we'll give it a shot and we'll put those on the alcohol to food to delivery line. And while all that's going on, let me have a look at these guys. So grain to alcohol is going to fill up as much as possible. That's fine. It can use both platforms to drop things off and pick things up for the time being. It's going to be dropping off only, which is all right. And then these guys, let's see. So Kansas City Annex is this. I, now that I think about it, I probably just want these guys using platform uh, two. And I want these guys just using platform one. And I'm going to say, I want you guys to fill up as much as possible. Your wait time is going to be... Honestly, two minutes is probably fine. We'll have you guys kind of wait. Uh, and then for here, that is a drop off and pick up. So I'd kind of like you to wait for a full load for two minutes as well. And that should be all right. 
And I guess you can use both platforms over there for the time being. So these guys are going to be chilling here, waiting for some grain, which they're going to be waiting for for a while. But we have got a decent amount of grain being produced. This thing will be doing just fine at the moment. And I suppose now that this is up and running, even though it's not exactly running the way I hoped it would, eventually this bridge is going to be redundant. We're going to build the giant mega bridge over the canyon at some point. But this is up and running. We will eventually have alcohol production. We will eventually have food production. I think what I'll do is we'll go ahead and get this little line for the, the fishery, the meat processing plants, and the food processing plant set up. Then we'll check into Salem, and then we'll see how Kansas is, go, is, is going for the time being, and we'll, we'll go from there. That seems like a good idea. So as we've done before, we're going to want to build ourselves a little truck station right here next to the fishery. And then fish has a ratio of two fish for every one meat, so we're going to want to get ourselves another truck station, this time with two platforms, and we'll go ahead and put that... Uh, I'm actually going to put it sort of, I think, right about right about here. Should be just fine uh, for uh, for this one. 131,000. Don't love that. 152,000. Really don't love that. We'll go for the 131. That's better. So two platforms for this. One line is going to be bringing the fish in, and one is going to be taking the fish out. And then, of course, we already have a platform here by the food processing plant, so we don't need to build another one of those. The only thing I'm considering is building a road between these guys so the vehicles don't have to go up and around. I think having a little bit more of a direct connection here might be a good idea. So we'll give this a shot. We'll go ahead and swap this guy out. We'll get ourselves a little road that goes something like like this for the time being. And we'll get a little road over this way. And maybe this one could come straight off of here. That might not be a bad idea. So something like this. And they should connect together relatively easily. We'll kind of bring this, bring this around a little bit. I don't, I don't want to carve into mountains and all that stuff too much, and I don't want to carve away the terrain too much. I also don't want to accidentally make this thing slower than taking the other road. So I'm trying to not be too scenic with my, my road choices. I also don't know what's going on there. <laughs> not what I'm looking for. Uh, so if I do this, 735, it's carving away at so much of the terrain. <laughs> that is not, that is not what we're going for here. Looking for a nice straight section of road there. We'll curve this guy around that way a little bit. 42,000 is fine. We can do this. seven I, Again, 700 and something thousand is not what I'm looking for. Even 100,000 there is a bit much. And 45 there. That's fine. I don't love this, but it's undoubtedly going to be quicker than going that other way. So that should be fine. Let's get these lines set up. We'll go ahead and say from here going to here. And I'm going to call this a Kansas line, I think. It isn't technically... It's Yeah, we're going to call it a Kansas line. And so just like that, we have some vehicles heading out. We've got some lines set up going from fish to meat down here. We have meat to food over here. And we can take a look at our lines, actually, and hopefully get a bit of an overview on what's going on. So if we have a look in here at our line statistics, we can make this a little bit bigger, not that I need to. Uh, but we can see that the meat to or fish to meat has a rate of 19, which is the approximate annual throughput per station. So 19 uh, per year means that we should be producing, what is that, 38, about 38 meat per year. The meat to food has a rate of 13. So in theory, I think that means that the, the meat should pile up here eventually, which I'm kind of OK with. So we'll leave that be for now. We can also see that Salem Bricks is actually making money. And uh, the grained alcohol line is also making money. So that's absolutely fantastic news. Uh, and we can go ahead and actually take a look and see what the demand is for absolutely everywhere. So right now, we are actually having some issues with the emissions. We're at negative 10% on Kansas City growth, which I don't love. But once we go ahead and start bringing in the food, they have demand for 43 right now. Once we start dropping that off, we should see the population start to increase a little bit here, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, you are one of the grain lines. Do we have anyone on the way with food right now? I'm going to doubt it. I'm definitely, definitely have my doubts. Uh, you, do you have anything on board? Nope. What about, what about you? Do you have anything on board that I need to, uh, need to worry about? Nope. All right. Do we have, oh, we do have alcohol waiting though. Which is absolutely fantastic. We have 15 sitting around, so that's not all bad. That's definitely definitely not all bad. We probably want to look at the rates of a few of these lines as well, but I do want to take a look at Salem. And honestly, it's 
it's pretty good news. We're doing all right in Salem. We're getting 26 out of the 69. Nice. Demanded construction materials, which is absolutely fantastic. If we have a look at the stats for the line down here, I keep hitting the wrong button. Uh, how are we looking? So the rate is 30 per year right now. That could definitely be better. I, I would almost be tempted to say that what we could do on the Salem Bricks line is manage the vehicles and just duplicate them. So we'll get 10 vehicles in that line, which should bring the rate up to 61, which is still less than what they're looking per year. So I wonder if I duplicate one more vehicle, that brings us to 67. If I do one more to give us 12, that brings us to 74. So now we should be able to move more bricks than the city wants per year, which is honestly okay. I'm not really too worried about that. That's kind of what I'm looking for. My, my priority really is going to be to fully stock Salem with the bricks that it wants, and then we'll start moving them to Oklahoma City. And that's what I want to do with Kansas as well. I want to get all the food in here as much as I possibly can, and then we'll start moving it out to Garland over there. So if we take a look, they want 43 food. So if I pin this and I keep that in mind and I have a look at my lines here. So it's one to one grained alcohol. And that's fine. One to one grained alcohol is that's going to be 27, uh, 27 alcohol being produced. It's two to one on alcohol to food, I think. So 27, 50, I want to say that's 54. I'm pretty sure. So 54 food per year. That's more than these guys have demand for. So we're already covering that. Uh, and then alcohol food delivery rate is 10. So this thing realistically is, is not going to be moving anywhere near as much. So what we could potentially do is start to overload things a little bit. This line is already making money, which is fantastic news. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to manage those vehicles. I'm going to duplicate them, which is a lot of money to spend, but I'm going to duplicate them. And that's going to make us uh, up to 54 on the annual throughput of grain to alcohol, which is totally fine. The alcohol to food to delivery line is going to be tricky because it's such a long line. It takes a long time to get anything done. This should now give us a surplus of alcohol at the food processing thing or the alcohol processing, the distillery. That's the word I'm looking for. Distillery. That's okay, though. We can deal with the surplus. We can start moving it out more and more as time goes by. I think what we'll do is we will duplicate the number of vehicles on the alcohol to food to delivery line. It gives us a rate of 21, which is totally okay. And then for everything else, I mean, the meat to food, the fish to meat. I'm not super concerned about those, although fish to meat right now is what, 19? meat so it's two fish to one meat so that's what is that nine nine and a half nine and a half uh meat per year from this line let me bring that number up a little bit if i get five vehicles in this line that gives us 23 eh, can i get can i get something a little bit better than that 28 i'll take 28 because i can divide that in half quite nicely at 14 and the meat to food line is already 13 so there's gonna be a tiny tiny surplus on uh, on this line, which again, I'm kind of okay with. So that should balance things out a little bit. It is going to take a long time. That's that's the only thing to keep in mind with this Kansas production line is it's going to take forever because we can't go across the canyon right now because I don't have forty five million dollars. The good news, though, is that Kansas City is finally starting to get some of the food that it demands. So we should see some growth here. We have target population 135 plus 20 percent equals 162. So we are going to see about 30 more people uh, move into Kansas City here in the near future, which means that the city is going to grow, which is fantastic news. Moving down towards Salem, it is a similar story. We are aiming for 214. We are actually doing very well on the supply of bricks, and that is only going to get better. So we should see Salem continue to grow as well. I would like to deal with the tools demand here. I'm not going to lie. I would like to see that start to be a thing. And let's keep in mind that both well, Salem and High Point and San Francisco all want tools. So it might be in my best interest and Everett as well. And Garland, that's they're not that far apart, actually. There's Kansas City in the top left, Salem bottom right. We've got Garland in the middle. Garland actually has a tools factory right here, which wants wood. We have a bunch of forests. We have a sawmill. We have a lot of forests. Good Lord. 
we have a really good little setup for tools right here. The only problem is it's it's one to one. Is there not a better ratio for tools anywhere? Or am I am I imagining that? I might be imagining that. Seattle wants tools as well. Long story short, I think. Wait, do we? Yeah, we could do. We can absolutely do tools. Oh, it's this, isn't it? It's yeah, one steel for two tools. That's the better. That's the better ratio. That's the one I talked about earlier. That would be good as well. I guess reasonably we could do both, but we're not going to be doing that today because I think that's going to do us for it today. We're already making money, which is fantastic news. Salem is making a bunch. Uh, grain to alcohol is making a bunch. The fish to meat is making a bunch. We should see the food delivery start to make money soon as well. And meat to food reasonably eventually will probably make money. So a decent start. We have spent five and a half million dollars of the $10 million starting budget. We can borrow a bunch of money if I happen to want to. I think I can, I don't know what I can borrow up to, but I can at least double my starting loan. So it's not all bad, but that is going to do us for today. Thank you so much for watching everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.